Machito was a Latin jazz musician who refined Afro-Cuban jazz and created Cubop and what is known today as salsa music. Hosto Center for the Arts and Culture held a series of exhibits honoring the musician. Well, today's exhibit uh, is on loan from the National Jazz Museum in Harlem, uh, celebrating Machito and his impact on music uh, through also his brother-in-law, Mario Bauza, and his uh, foster sister, uh, Graciela and together they had an enormous impact on music, uh, combining Latin music and jazz. They were the first to do so. Machito's son, Mario, reflected on the legacy his father left behind, one he is keeping alive as musical director of the Machito Orchestra. The old expression is, uh, he was the alpha and the omega of our lives, um, not only musically, but as a father. Uh, we used to affectionately call him Daddy Yes, because he never said no. He never told us who he was. We had no concept of who he was, you know, to music fans, not only here but worldwide. And it's very important that we all know who these folks were because they were our pioneers, you know. Most people forget that we're all historians. And these things are very important that we pass down to our children, our grandchildren, and so forth. If we don't do it, it's lost. Machito and his orchestra, the Afro-Cubans, performed from the 1940s to the 1980s, and a year before he died in 1983, he received a Grammy Award. He's admired by musicians he paved a way for, and fans who will never forget his music. The most important thing about the Machito's, the band and Machito's music, is that it tells the future. It sounds out the future, and that's like kind of the function of music in our society. It's like we hear sounds before we see actually objects coming. You hear a siren coming down the street, you know an ambulance is coming before you actually see it. Same with a train. That's what Machito's music does. It sounds out the future, and so you can hear what jazz sounded like now in his music. You can hear the seeds of racial integration on the bandstand that was taking place in his bandstand and the racial and ethnic, um, ethnic integration that was happening in the mixing of the sounds. This music was, like they say, the Afro-Cubian music. That's what it was. That was a marriage between Afro-Cubian rhythms and jazz. My father and my grandparents, that's the music that we used to listen to. And I idolized him for the sense that uh, it, to me, it combined Spanish music with English. Machito and the impact of the Afro-Cubans at 80 was part of a series of events celebrating Latin jazz and Afro-Cubanism. To keep up with future events at the Hostos Center for the Arts and Culture, visit hostos.cuny.edu slash culturearts. Reporting for BronxNet, Sanji Lopez.